Hey, Kim. Hey, Jason. Funny seeing you here. I know. How's it going? Good. How are you? Great. What did we get to play with this week? It's the Lamy 2000. I stole mm -hmm. it from, Bri from Brian. I don't even know where this is. Just, I found it under a desk. It was just, just there. Pens all over the place. I know. This is a great place to be. They're just all over the place. I was like, I'm taking that. That's mine. How did you like yours? I honestly fell in love with this pen. Love, 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 love this pen. One of my favorite things about it is a snap cap mm -hmm. instead of like the Pilot Metropolitan where it just kind of snapped on. I call this one a glide and snap. Glides and snaps. My favorite thing actually was the bottom. It's a very classic pen. It's been around since the 60s, I heard. Yeah. Which is crazy it's that cool. it's like, and it, they haven't changed the thing, which is wild. It's like a brushed, like aluminum. This part right here actually is, I think, stainless steel or aluminum. The, the rest of this is Macrolon, which, what is Macrolon? Do you know what Macrolon I is? I do not know what Macrolon is. <laughs> it's this beautiful black material here. That's what Macrolon when is. When I ask Google, Google I'm it. reading this. This is happening. Macrolon is an. <laughs> All I know is that it's just, it's beautiful. Did you have a preference on writing with this posted versus non-posted? I did not post it, which was weird for me. It took a little bit to get used to that because normally I'm always posting my pens. When yeah. I would post it, it felt a little heavy. And so I would just set that cap down. Never lost the cap. Thank like, God, it. because these aren't ours. We would be in trouble <laughs> Yeah, <then. laughs> exactly. What do you think about the nib on it? This wrote beautifully. It's okay. a 14 karat gold platinum plated nib. It is so super smooth. Did you have any trouble filling yours? I, I feel spoiled. I didn't actually fill this one. Oh, you're lucky. I know. Somebody <laughs> would, all of a sudden, I was given a pen. I didn't fill it, but I'm like, okay, so I was examining the pen. I'm like, how do you fill this thing? It's a piston filler, which uh, is cool because it has, how much ink does it? This like half a sample. Like, yeah, 1.5 milliliters, which is exactly half of one of our samples. And when I was looking at this, I'm like, how do you, I, I heard it's a piston filler. You can but like, it, like, barely see that little line Which there. I think so is sleek. incredibly cool. Yeah. Like, yeah, you can't even tell. Like, even when you're like feeling it, you can't, you can barely tell that there's any like uh what's the word i'm looking for transition even the brushing of the uh the finish just goes into it just perfectly which is just outstanding i can see why this has been such a classic pen for so long because yeah. that it just it works it's like it's like a tuxedo this was my first time ever filling a piston pen that was a little bit interesting for me but then okay. after doing it i was like oh i see why people like this especially because it holds more inks and you aren't constantly like filling unless you like changing the ink exactly like I do. which which you do, do. <laughs> the constant uh the constant from across the room oh, i want to finish this ink i have like five yes. more to put in my pens <laughs> this is a very like minimalistic pen because exactly. it is so sleek and clean it just is it's beautiful it is it's very it's simplistic it's, i can't really even say anything else because you pretty much nailed it right well, on we the have head. it in the black which is what we both yep. use but then it also comes in the so heavy <laughs> stainless see. steel it is it's significantly heavier it's exactly exactly the same pretty much uh minus the whole thing stainless steel you said yeah. right the ink window is like really cool with this i do this a lot <laughs> when there's ink windows it's like oh my god it's mesmerizing it's like a lava lamp <laughs> i got interested in it i kept seeing you know out everywhere in, in the pen community, mm -hmm. like Lamy 2000, it's a classic. Everyone needs at least, or has to have one in their collection. Brian recently did a disassembly video. He did. Yeah, and that was really cool because we kept seeing there the- There's so many parts in this There's so many parts. And it was like, oh, keep all of them like so careful. Exactly. Like, keep them together. But watching him take it apart and then put it back together. And then we did like a WTF on it. This pen was just always sitting upstairs. I'm like, yep. hmm. Yep. I was thinking we have to like block this video from Brian so that he doesn't know that we're done with it. So he thinks that I'm like exactly. still testing it out. Exactly. He cannot know this went live. Three years later, yeah. <laughs> I thought I had a Lamy. I'm uh, still practicing. With, yeah, exactly. For, for the Exa no, we have we have a part two. It's going to happen. We need, we need to fully <laughs> flesh out this pen. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> what? My bit. <laughs> he just walks out of the room. Beep, beep.